Today we stayed local and went to Bransby Horse Rescue. It's a little sanctuary and it's been there since the 60s. It's such a beautiful place. That Blossom Walk was absolutely stunning. It's free entry too and it's such a great day out. Oh. I didn't even realise she only had one eye. Yeah. Who's there? They painted it out. Oh yeah. So she had an injury when she arrived. Um, she's now. Um, How did she get one eye? She had an injury to it. She must have yeah. poked herself in the eye somehow. Oh bless her. Did it have to get removed? Yeah. So when the eye gets too damaged, we can't fix it anymore. So then it has to be removed, unfortunately. But she's okay. She can still see. But we found her this morning with a belly ache. So. This morning. This morning. Yeah, she's yeah, got a belly. She's a brand new one. <laughs> yeah. But she's had lots of medicine to make her belly ache go away, but she's still a bit, got a few problems still. But so did she come here today? No, she's been here for at least the eight years that I've known her. Aww. So she's been here quite some time now. Yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> I, I called the horse blind. Did you? Her name's Cloud. Cloud. I called Cloud. Cloud blind. Because um, she wasn't. You can still see if you were just, um, I, I I'm sure she manages well here. Yeah. She does. She gets everything she ever wanted here. That's it. Got a lovely life now. Yeah. So, what I need to do is I need to see how many times she breathes in and out. So it's one. So if you watch her belly here, she stands still long enough. She's a bit of a fidget. So, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. There you go. You saw it. I need to see how many times she breathes in and breathes out in one minute. That's cool. So then when she's got when she's very poorly, her breathing's faster. And then I have to listen to her heart. And her heart is just between her front legs here. So then I can hear it. And if her heart rate's quite high, I know that she's in pain. Aww. So that's why we're doing something like that. <laughs> so when you go to the doctor, sometimes when you're very poorly, they'll do the same thing. Yeah. I feel bad for Cloud. She'll be okay. She's got lots of medicine on board, and we're going to give her some soup in a minute. Oh, by the way, um, I like that. Well, the lead rope? Yeah. Yeah, it's very <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah. It was such a lovely day out, and all your money goes towards the sanctuary and the upkeep of the horses. They have a lovely little charity shop on mm. site, too, where you can donate stuff like tack and toys and games. I love a good thrift shop, you can't keep me out of them. I think they're absolutely brilliant, especially for picking up educational games for the children and educational resources. Yeah, she's in here. want that. Tile's not used. Well, you tie. It's called a saddle. Thanks. You ride? No. You got a horsey? No, I want one. You want one? Yeah. <laughs> I got this dog called Free Green. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it's all about horses. Yes, I've seen that. <laughs> And this is the dog friendly tea room there. After that, we stopped off at Daisy Maid because it was on the way home. Again, free entry, you get to see all the goats, feed them, and the ice creams are reasonable too. It's one of our favourite places in Lincoln. I, I actually hid in the, in the car, car unfortunately, because I'm fighting cellulitis at the minute, and I was just in agony at this point. Me.